Hello everybody, this is Jamie, the teaching and learning coach for Merton and Carl Shorten College, part of the South Thames Colleges Group TLA team. Uh, and today we're going to look at how you can use quizzes within your live lessons. So we're going to focus on two pieces of video conferencing software. The first one's Microsoft Teams and how you can use quizzes within that. And the second one is the very popular Zoom and how you can use quizzes within that too. So this video is going to be in two parts. Firstly, looking at Microsoft Teams and using quizzes. And secondly, looking at Zoom and using quizzes within that. Quizzes is great for recall and recap, for a starter, for the middle of your lesson, or a plenary, or just for a bit of fun to get your students engaged and enjoying themselves. It's a really, really great tool, and I can't praise it enough. So, just to note before we start this video, when you hear the audio feed within the video for both Teams and Zoom demonstration, you'll only hear my audio feed. That's because I'm wearing headphones and the feed from the other participants is coming through my headphones, not through the computer audio itself. So when I'm responding to people, I'm responding via the audio feed in my headphones, but rest assured, I can hear them, you'll be able to see them, and it's a really, really good way of interacting. Just wanted to get that point in there in case you ask me why you can't hear them. Right, here we go. So we're going to demonstrate how you can use Microsoft Teams and quizzes together in the same lesson. Hope you enjoy it. Right, so I'm gonna launch a live video in Microsoft Teams. It should load up. We're going to call this quizzes test teams. Uh, I'm going to click meet now. So here we are in Microsoft Teams, just waiting for a few people to join in and try out using quizzes within my live lesson. Um, hopefully they'll be coming in soon. Um, I hope you found this useful. It'd be really good if you can involve quizzes within your lessons. Um, it has the report rundown. It shows you how they're doing. You can ask them questions that they need practice on. It's good for recall, recap. You can use it as a starter or a plenary and just for a bit of fun as well. Um, so let's see if um, we can get someone joining in. So can you all see my screen, by the way, just while we're here? You can, yeah? So you can see the quizzes and everything. Okay, cool. Right, so we're in Microsoft Teams. We're about to launch quizzes. Um, just to confirm that Andrew, it, who is the AM symbol there, he's using his mobile phone for both applications, so both for Microsoft Teams and for quizzes. Is that right, Andrew? Okay, cool. And it's working fine between the two. You can switch between the two and still hear the audio. Great, so that means if a learner has just one device, so the mobile phone to use for both the lesson, so in Zoom or in Microsoft Teams, uh, and quizzes, they can switch between the two, which is great. And Mel, you're using your laptop for, for both, yeah? So Mel's switching between quizzes um, and Microsoft Teams. So let me just try and launch a quizzes now. So you, you can both see my screen. I've shared my screen with you, yeah? So this is the, can you see it, Andrew? Yeah, and then when you go to quizzes, um, you won't be able to see it. But for now, you can see my screen, right? Like the previous quizzes videos we've done, um, if you're gonna host the lesson, you're gonna click play live. And then we're gonna click on continue. It's a classic game. Um, so now the learners, if they have the quizzes screen open, sorry, if they have the team screen open, they can see the code. Um, and if they don't, you can obviously tell them the code, code verbally. So I want you to type into your either quizzes app or go to joinmyquiz.com and type in 894524 and join my game. Andrew's in. There you go. You can see you can see Andrew down here and Mel's in as well. So now all I need to do is to launch this quizzes so my learners can take part. Andrew and Mel, you're my learners. Um, we, can, <laughs> we can click start and hopefully. So Mel and Andrew have done the quiz. We've looked at the questions. Mel has won it, um, so she gets the long distance, the long distance trophy. You can download this results option here, which gives you a, a um, Excel spreadsheet of the questions that are right and wrong. So that is quizzes within Teams. I'm going to shrink that screen down. I'm going to go back into Teams here, uh, and yeah, that's it really. I think we're going to try it in Zoom next. Are you all up for that? Yeah, Andrew, should we zoom it? Let's zoom it. Right, so we are now in Zoom. We've been joined by Bernadette uh, and we're gonna launch quizzes in Zoom. So let's have a little look and see if we can do the same quiz again with everyone else. I'm gonna share my screen. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. 
Can you all see quizzes? Yeah, so just quickly for the purpose of the video, um, as you can see, when you launch quizzes on Zoom, on a desktop, you have all of your learners in the corner. So you can see them as they complete the quiz, which is slightly different to Microsoft Teams. Um, it opens up as a separate window. There might be a way of bringing that forward, but so far, Zoom does it automatically for you and brings it forward. So um, I'm gonna launch the quiz again, as we did previously. Is that all right with everyone? Okay. Right, so I've launched the quiz. We're gonna go to continue. So I'm the host. Um, if you haven't got the quizzes app, you need to go to joinmyquiz.com and put in the code that you see on the screen. Can you all see that code? Right, so we have now um, logged into quizzes. We've got everyone present for my quizzes uh, and I'm gonna launch the game now and let the games commence. All right, so um, we've just completed quizzes um, using Zoom. As you can see, you've got the lovely faces down here. We've got Bern, Mel and Andrew all completed. Mel's won again on the um, Zoom quiz. I just wanna, but I just wanna highlight that it's the same quiz. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> as you can see, it gives you the results again. Remember, you can download the results and have a spreadsheet of the questions that each individual learner's got right or wrong. Um, and I like the Zoom layout because I can actually see each participant on the right hand side of my screen um, which is quite good and that's it that's how you can uh, use quizzes within microsoft teams and zoom i hope you found that useful i hope it all made sense to you if you've got any questions just please ask and have a great day i hope you're all safe and well and i'll see you soon cheers